what what made you move down to Nashville? Now I've I've kind of been all over the place. Um, I I'm originally from Rhode Island. I've lived in Connecticut. I've lived in Tennessee. Um, then I moved back to Connecticut to play hockey in prep school. Mm-hmm. Um, went to college in New York. Played football, and uh, then I moved to California. I worked in professional sports for about five years. Cool. Um, fell in love with nutrition. Um, I ended up moving back to Nashville in 2008 to open my own nutrition store. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, then supplements kind of just like didn't do it for me. And, and, but the food did. So, you know, I'm going on year like, I think it's year 17 of, of being a nutritionist. And it's, man, I love what I do. I'm so blessed. It, it really is wonderful. Yeah. And I heard in a podcast that you've actually like been a nutritionist for like professional athletes, mm-hmm. obviously like the, a lot of CrossFit athletes too, as yeah. well. And, mm-hmm. and like just the gen pop, you know, gen, general, yeah. general population community. So what, what do all three have in common when it comes to nutrition for like learning new things and whatnot? You know, I, I try not to think that there's one way to approach any of this because, you know, like, like I've worked with type one diabetics, I've worked with type two diabetics, but I've, you know, working with everyone is so different and everyone yeah. is so unique. So it's like it, trying to be like, like, I don't work off templates. So it's more like, you know, I have our intake and I, we do our consult and then I build everything out based on the, the conversation that we had there. Um, you know, so it's, they're not alike, I guess it would be my answer. Um, you know, the majority, even I have two, two twin sisters that are, that are pretty good athletes that, um, that eat differently, you know, they're, and they're the same genetics. So like, I can't treat, can't treat everyone the same for sure. Yeah. Yeah. How So how many clients do you typically have at like one time? You know, I mean, I try to limit it these days uh because i i took a, a actual corporate position mm-hmm. um so i'm i'm director of corporate wellness for a company out of fort wayne indiana and okay. uh, but i take on it probably anywhere between five and eight a month um you know and i have my reoccurring athletes that i still work with i worked with a bunch of guys in the nfl and love uh, it, it's cool to see that but you know the majority of people that i work with that, that actually pay the bills are you know, just normal people like you and I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, um, do you have, do you typically like, like if someone says, Hey, I want to go vegan or I want to try like a different diet. Do you like, kind of like MacGyver it to what their needs are or whatnot, especially going vegan? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, I usually want to know why, um, just so I can understand where they're coming from. So, you know, it's not like, Hey, I thought I was going to lose more weight this way or anything like that. If, if it's like a, a moral and ethical reason and, or they're like, you know what? I just don't like the taste of meat. Cool. I can, fi- I can, I can show you how to do that. Mm. But if you're doing it just because it's the cool thing to do, I, I, <laughs> I probably won't be a part of that transition, um, Yeah, you know, and, and, and I'm comfortable saying no to people, uh, but I'm also comfortable educating them on, on what they you know, what they want to do, what it looks like, and then being like, Hey, th- is this realistic for you? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. So my, w- my wife and my kids are going vegan. Well, mm-hmm. actually my, my youngest, my youngest is like kind of in and out here and there. Cause she's, she's five. So she's like mm-hmm. super picky, but my eight year old son is like, like they want to just to go vegan, which I'm, I'm all for like, let them do it. They've been like, yes. they have, they have a nutrition, nutrition coach and all that stuff. So they kind of like lead that path. I have no interest. Like I'll, I'll eat it for dinner, but like, I, I need to have like steak or chicken or fish or something like that. Cause I just can't, I don't know. I, I just can't do tofu. It's just like, it, it's so gross for me. And, and even like beyond burgers, like I, I, the, some of them are not that bad. Like I've tried them and they're pretty good, but like, it's just, I just freak out about the chemicals and stuff like yeah. that. That's like the one thing I'm, I'm worried about. Well, you know, and I, I, there's, there's so many things that go into, and people are like, oh, it's, you know, I don't like processed foods, but that's like the most highly processed food that you can find. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the issues I have with that is, are, are usually more or less like, all right, they don't like, they, they think it's animal cruelty to, to eat meat. But what you're doing to the ground is killing so much 
of of part of the the whole sphere of of life the cycle of life that you know i mean it's it's like six to one half dozen the other so you know it, you're it's a it's a lose lose if you're really looking at it um mm-hmm. but you know i mean i'm i'm also not going to be like well that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard so you know, <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i'm going to help people who want help but if they if they're just doing it to be trendy then i'm, I'm probably not going to do it yeah, it's it's almost like a plastic surgeon when they have a when a patient comes in saying, "I want to look like Brad Pitt," and they're like, "Uh, you might want to go someplace else." Can't I can't fix that? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that looks like. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah.